Hey folks, Bob and Joe here. I uh, want to share a little bit of the gospel with you. The uh, good Lord does amazing things. You know, I've talked to you about how you change your life and whatnot. And uh, Tuesday, I was down in St. Martinsville, Louisiana, picking up a load, picking up uh, a C Cajun chef, who I was picking up at, I'll say their name, some of the rudest people I've ever met. I mean, just unfriendly, mad, the whole crew on the dock. And uh, it was very aggravating. And after a few minutes of their rudeness, I just started laughing in their face. Not in a mean way. I don't understand people getting up mad all the time and sharing it with other folks. You know, being rude to folks. Now, grant you, I've gave you a little bit of my testimony out here, or on here, and I told you I used to be not a nice feller, and that's very true. I've told you that I was mad all the time, that's very true. But when I was dealing with other folks, I did use my common courtesy and a little bit of, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? Just being polite. These folks didn't use none of that. I mean, they were just point blank rude. I uh, had to go into the office, take care of some stuff. Two young ladies in there working the office, very nice ladies. And I asked them, I said, what is their problem out there on the dock? And she says, I don't know. I said, then you already know how rude they are. And she said, yes, we do. I said, there ain't no call for that. And she agreed. And I allowed, I told her, I said, luckily, Jesus came into my life a few years ago. I said, because I was like them, angry. I said, but I didn't take it out on folks like they do. However, we would have had some serious issues on your dock. And I said, me and that old boy on the forklift, me, it could have got real bad. I said, luckily for him, Jesus came in my life and he's changed me a lot. I said, so I just started laughing at him. Uh, we allowed that me laughing at him probably hurt him more than me going off and cussing him or hitting him or anything else that I might have done. But uh, it opened up the conversation for us to start talking a little bit about Jesus. She was a Christian lady. So uh, the whole point is, is that, like I said, I've already gave you some of this testimony before. But the good Lord took that bad situation of them rude individuals and turned it into a conversation about him where we had a little bit of decent fellowship. Uh, I told the lady about this YouTube channel. Hopefully she's came on to it. I don't know. But it just amazes me. I mean... I've been aggravated since I became a Christian. I mean, you know, just because you're a Christian don't mean you live in a perfect world. You still have issues. You still have problems with bills. Uh, even if you and your wife are both Christians, you're still going to have some kind of little relationship issues to work out. You're going to have anger issues. You know, you, it, you still have to live. I had not really been put in that predicament that I was in the other day. Now, my wife, if she was here, she could testify that she's seen me in that predicament where we're ready to go at blows. 
I mean, I used to get that bad. And that would have been one of them situations, I guarantee you. And I just found it totally amazing how I didn't even get angry Tuesday down there. I didn't. I was a little bit shocked that they was being so rude. It made me wonder if I had ever really been like that, and I don't think I had been. But uh, it just kind of went to show me how far the Lord's brought me. I, mean, I don't know where this is going, but it was uh, it was just somewhat an eye opener. Being confronted with something like you used to be, and then confronted with how you handled it. You, me, and me. But it was like, thank you, Lord. You know, thank you for working on me. I'm glad I don't wake up mad all the time. I used to wake up just mad at the world. I'm glad I don't. I'm uh, very thankful. So just a little testimony, just sharing a little bit of my life, what's going on. God bless y'all. You have a good day now.